Rico, what up, it's Just Kid T. Back here with another video. Talking about the, the PSA Freedom 16 inch barrel rifles. Got a Palmetto State Armory sales. Like the, the slight differences between them. It's really just that trigger for the most part in the furniture that comes on it. The MOE Magpul stuff. Got a little budget sight right there. Everything else is pretty much the same. Just the furniture. The difference. Same uh, charging handle. Front. A2 uh, sight gas post. Okay, everything's the same. The fortices. Charging handle. Front the uh, Picatinny. Top rail. Added that on. Um, it's a nice sight, actually. Got them off Amazon, it was like $20. At first, I didn't think I liked how I feel, but from shooting that one, I like how you feel. You know, you can really get a, you know, even got like a finger in the You get a nice rest on, on the front of your, you know, your barrel, for the most part. You got some people, that's why they got short barrel rifles. You got some people that actually, they prefer to like grip tools up here. Somehow you can theoretically be a little more accurate. The barrel's a little shorter. And I got the Magpul rubber on grips, both of them. This one came like that. That one made me get the same one for this one. It came like that. This uh, stock came like this, pretty much. It's pretty sturdy. Got a little wood on it. It's like a classic 80s. You know, 80s type of uh, like an 80s rifle. And this is a more more modern rifle. Yeah, I would say around like the 2014 era, this was like one of the this was one of the best rifles you can get. Coming in around that time period. Now, you know, you got all type of rifles, even their Sabre line, PSA, it's pretty cool. I put this mad cool um, rubber cushion on it. Even that. So for the most part, it's the uh, same, you know, YouTube compliant capacity magazine. take uh, all the standard magazines but for the most part this this trigger really that's really the biggest part about it fired this one so I don't really know how you know the pull rate really is. I had this right for over a year man it's crazy. I'm barely even pulling it like compared to my original one. My original one is just it's cool. different way. This one's soft. Starting to pull on it. Trying to do this one here. Yeah, that trigger right there crazy. So 
So mainly that's the difference between like the, the newer ones. This one of the older ones I bought this two years ago now. This one more than newer ones. I think they pretty much all come with that type of trigger. This trigger it's not bad. You can see me uh rapid fire in it. I was really just gonna put all the same furniture on that one. Same stock, same uh, plastic core grips. A lot of people like metal, but plastic is more superior. And it also has like a heat shield on the inside of it. You can see the metal on these ones. That metal. You got like a heat shield inside of it. Child, going with which trigger do you think was the lightest? Pretty much. Let me show y'all these night sketch real quick. The night vision on the board. You scope with this, boy, you done. This one not bad. This is GX4XL. actually white until you charge it up. He glowed up. I just really hit him with that one. Hit him with that old light. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna try the other ones. I'm gonna try the actual tritium front sight. It's like a triangle going downwards. A lot of people um, if you know about red dots and scopes. They got reticles. It's like that triangle, with like a dot, like at the bottom of it, like in between. You know what I'm saying? The post is on the triangle. This one with the actual light, it stay lit like mm, stay like 
five minutes. That super bright yellow convertible. It takes me about there for like five minutes. You just go to the regular three dot trim. Yeah, man. Let me know what type of upgrades you guys are going with on your rifles. You got two. You know, different rifles. You got rifles you always shoot. You like to shoot them equally. You know what your what your preferences is, what your setups. What you guys think about magazines? Also, a lot of people, yeah, they buy guns, but they don't buy magazines. Just going to see the, the cheap in their own. You gotta buy Buku magazines, man. They got magazines for all these guns. I mean, I bought multiple actual of the same guns for the most part, but even besides the ones that actually come with them, I have plenty of magazines. 